Welcome back to the Web Security Academy walkthrough series. Um, today we'll be solving the lab SQL injection union attacks, uh, finding a column containing text. Uh, so if you recall from the last lab, uh, basically we use this technique of incrementally adding nulls uh, to a union select statement to figure out how many columns uh, we were retrieving from the uh, database on the back end. Uh, today we're going to take that concept and go one step further with it um, and determine if there's a column uh, that's being retrieved from the database uh, that we could use to grab some type of sensitive information. So um, if you think about it, some sensitive information might be like usernames, passwords, and typically these are always stored in strings, which is just a uh, combination of letters. Um, and we want to be able to grab some some like interesting information from the backend database. Uh, we don't want to just be able to grab, you know, like a database of connection details. It's not really going to do a whole lot for us, um, but it gets a lot cooler when you can retrieve a password from the database. But to do that, uh, you have to be able to determine where a string is being retrieved from a SQL query. So let's go ahead um, and take a look at this. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to go back over to burp, make sure our intercepts on, uh, just like the last ones, it's this uh, SQL injection is in the categories parameter. Um, so we'll pick any of these. I'm going to pick pets like I have been just because I like pets. <laughs> I'm going to command R to send this to repeater. Um, and then we can just go ahead and turn the intercept off to forward the rest of the HTTP request through. So now that we have this, um, what we're going to want to do we're going to do that same technique again, except for this is going to be a single quotation mark. Single quotation mark plus union plus select plus null hyphen hyphen. And what this is going to do for us is we're going to do the same technique of enumerating how many columns are being queried on the back end. So let's go ahead and send this over. We're going to look for errors, and then we're going to look for a actual response. So there's not one. Uh, let's try two. It doesn't look like there's two either. Let's try three this time and send it through. Okay, so we get a response this time. So now to build on top of this, we know that there's three columns just like there was last time. Now what we need to do is we need to determine which one of these three columns, these three nulls, is a string. Um, and the reason that this one works, as if you can recall from the last video, uh, null matches any data type. So one of these three is a string, but technically it doesn't matter right now um, because null matches anything and it'll match a string. Um, so if we were to insert a string like ABC in the first place of null, and strings need to be surrounded by uh, single quotations, too, in this as well. Um, so say this one is a string. We'll try to figure out uh, which one of these three columns is a string. So we'll send this. That's an error. So we know that this first column is not a string. So let's go ahead and replace it with null. A, B, C. Same thing. That can be any arbitrary string, right? Oh, okay, so it looks like we got an HTTP uh, 200, okay there. So it looks like this second column is a string. And just to prove it to you guys, I will do the third column, inject a string here, and we'll send this, and this should give us an error. Yep, okay, so it's gonna say, hey, you know what? Neither the first nor the last column is a string. The second one is a string. But to actually solve this lab, we need to retrieve a specific string. Um, yours will be different than mine. Um, everybody's will be different. It's randomly generated by the lab. So what you can do is you can go back over here. We knew it was position two. Um, we'll just put that string in the second position and send the request. And then if you see on the back side here, we have solved the lab. Uh, make sure to come back tomorrow. We're going to take this concept another step further once again um, and do some more SQL injection. Thank you.